नमस्कार हम सो डे थर्टी एट ऑफ द सेफ सॉल जर्नी आई होप यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग द अपडेट्स सिंस यू नो इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन फाइव वीक्स एंड इफ यू हैव बीन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दीज गाइडलाइंस इफ स्टेप बाय स्टेप इफ यू हैव बीन ट्राइंग टू सी हाउ टू इनकॉर्पोरेट दिस इन योर लाइफ देन यू वुड हैव नोटिस्ड अ सब्सटैंशियल डिफरेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द क्वालिटी ऑफ योर लाइफ and how you're feeling within yourself so uh, uh, it's something you know uh, so the first time i'm actually uh, had an opportunity to kind of uh, look at so many different aspects and since we have uh, 100 days time i thought this would be a good opportunity to try and bring uh, different aspects of uh, the yogic life lifestyle and maybe you know um, anything which is concerned around that and also about soil so we can use this opportunity to create more awareness about the same so it's been wonderful uh, to um, to share so many things with all of you and uh, hope this is something which you are able to make use of uh, so today i just thought that uh, we could explore a bit more about vibhuti because we get questions about the same about the significance of the same and uh, how we can make use of this uh, make use of vibhuti so vibhuti as you know is uh, called as uh, is basically sacred ash so this is something which i am wearing here and uh, this uh, uh, this white uh, powder which you may see people applying in different places especially in uh, south india you will see that uh, uh, many people you know they won't step out of their homes without applying vibhuti so this is uh, traditionally made from uh, ash from the cremation grounds and uh, this is like a constant reminder of our mortality if you wear the ash every day it's like reminding you that you are also going to be a part of the same very soon it just depends on time and it's for you to live sensibly because whatever time you have on the planet if you just understand that you are, we are mortal then we'll definitely see how we can make use of our time in the best possible way so it's a constant reminder of our mortality but uh, you see the vibhuti which we apply uh that's it's if you see uh, this is something which is not coming from the cremation grounds especially at isha the one which is uh, which you find in isha life stores etc so this is something which is created from an organic mixture like from cow dung so there's a process uh, through which you know uh, this cow dung is uh, processed etc and made into this vibhuti so you should, if you should, if you apply this vibhuti it has many benefits there are other there are places where you also get vibhuti which is like chalk powder you know so there's not much benefit in applying that so try to see if you can um, obviously the best is if it's from the cremation grounds the ash but uh, that's something which is anyway uh, not commonly sold outside so uh, that's maybe you know if you are an intense spiritual seeker full time spiritual seeker and who you have you know kind of uh, given up on all the uh, worldly life and uh, you're just roaming about or uh, you know you have become like uh, a full time seeker where uh, you may have heard about in different parts of india there are sadhus and sanyasis etc so for them it you know it may be much easier to get from the cremation grounds they may even spend time there do meditation do their sadhana and apply that but generally for people uh, uh, you know commonly the vibhuti which vibhuti which can be made from organic materials like cow dung etc this is something which is beneficial for the system you can apply that so uh, if you apply this in different portions like chakras for example if you apply it in between your eyebrows which is the adna chakra so if you apply it here and also at the pit of your throat which is the you know, vishuddhi so if you apply it here Uh, especially these two points between the eyebrows pit of the throat then just below the point where the rib cage meets which is called as the solar plexus it's called as anahata the anahata chakra so there if you apply just where the rib cage meets uh, where, where the rib cage ends if you find that there's a you will find that there's a rib cage here and uh, where it ends just half an inch just a, just a little below that if you place your finger you will see that there's a soft spot so that is called as the anahata so you can apply it there as well then below the navel so there again uh, you can uh, apply this vibhuti that is also a chakra so you can uh, apply it over there as well and uh, also you can apply it 
behind your ear lobes so uh, there is there's a certain point here just you know in uh, just behind your ear lobes so uh, that's also something you know where you can apply so these points if you want to apply for most people they generally apply between the eyebrows and uh, bit of the throat and uh, the anahata and below the navel at least these four points if you apply you will see that if you do this regularly on a daily basis if you can do this multiple times especially if you step outside your home if you apply this you will see that it will assist you in receiving the best from what is there outside whether the situations or whatever else you are stepping into it will make it will enhance your perception and also see that you receive the best from what is outside so it's definitely very uh, uh, it's something which is very uh, effective for you you know you things will become much smoother if you do that you would have seen even people applying vibhuti like they'll apply it over their forehead maybe like three lines or something like that so different people have different cultural traditions in terms of the way they apply vibhuti so whichever way you apply it you may have even see sadhus and sanyasis like they'll smear it all over their forehead and even over their body their arms etc so different people have ways of how to apply this vibhuti so generally if this much you can do if you can apply it on the chakras you will see that there are immense benefits to be gained and uh, just try to see if you can uh, uh, buy from a source where they at least have vibhuti which is consecrated or energized that is very important for it to be effective so at isha uh, what sadguru mentioned is that the vibhuti which they provide this is something uh, which is consecrated by placing it in the dhyanalinga temple so when they prepare this vibhuti through this uh, cow dung they it goes through a certain process after that it is packed in copper containers so uh, after, once that is ready then it is placed in the dhyanalinga temple for some time for it to imbibe the energies of the dhyanalinga it becomes consecrated and then it is given to people outside it is uh, for people who want to purchase so if you can do that if you can buy from a reliable source or even any other source where you feel you can get vibhuti which is energized or consecrated it has a different impact on the system if you have even spent time in sadguru sannidhi uh, which is like a consecrated space you will see that there is some vibhuti over there as well which is of a different quality compared to what is outside so that is also something uh, you know if you apply that if you are staying in a place where there is sannidhi or if you visit some place generally you will see whenever you visit a temple one of the first things which you will do is you will apply something on the forehead right either it's vibhuti or it's um, it's something else which they will provide you it could be you know uh, it could be kumkum or it could be you know uh, it could be something else you know which people provide in the temples or it could be even chandan or uh, which is a mixture of turmeric etc turmeric sandalwood paste so whatever they do they'll generally provide this because that is also a way for you to become more receptive and also to imbibe the energies of the space and to carry it with you so uh, traditionally you will see if you step inside any temple if especially in south india you will see that if you step inside any temple they'll definitely have some vibhuti which they will ask you to apply uh, before you leave and uh, apart from that they may give you some prasad as well or some teertham uh, which is like uh, you know uh, a li- uh, some water or maybe something else made in a certain way which helps you to imbibe the energies of the space so uh, this is uh, this has been uh, carried on traditionally so it has many benefits so uh, please share with us if you are able to do this if um, if you are able to apply vibhuti on a daily basis and if you have not if you can plan to do this maybe you can uh, see how you can source this vibhuti and try to make use of it on a daily basis there is no um, uh, there is no restriction whether it's for men women children anyone can apply irrespective of their situation it doesn't matter what you are going through vibhuti is something which can definitely assist you especially if you are on the spiritual path this will make your uh, this will help you to be much more perceptive and receptive as well and uh, this is something it's a great tool for a spiritual sadhaka to make use of so please make use of the same and share with us how your experience has been and if you have any questions about vibhuti as well you can post about that hope all of you are continuing to share about safe soil and uh, just talking about soil every day If if it's just for even a few minutes every day, if you're all speaking about it, it'll make a huge difference. It'll make a big impact. 
सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू डू दैट वील मीट अगेन टुमारो नमस्कार